Dear students, today we are going to discuss a poem O to the West Wind which was written by P. B. Shelley. Now first question, what is the full name of P. B. Shelley? The full name of P. B. Shelley is Parshi Baisi Shelley. P. B. Shelley was born in England in 1792 and he is known as the Romantic Poet. What type of poem is Shelley's Ode to the West Wind? It is a kind of Horatian Ode. Now we have to know what is Ode. Ode is a lyric poetry expressing emotions and it usually addressed to someone or something or it represents the poet's musing on that person or thing. There are three kinds of ode, Pindaric, Horatian and Irregular. And Ode to the West Wind is a kind of Horatian ode. Next question, what is the rhyme scheme of the poem? The poem is written in Tejarima. What does the west wind do to the yellow, red, autumnal leaves? The west wind makes them fly. Why, according to the poet, west wind is a preserver? West wind is a preserver because it deposits seeds in the soil. What does the west wind call? West wind is called the animating spirit of nature. Yellow and black and pale and hectic red. The figures of speech applied here is polysyndeton because of excesses use of connecting conjunction and why west wind is a trumpet of prophecy west wind is called the trumpet of prophecy because it brings the promises the locks of the approaching storm the figures of speech used here is Metaphor. Now, what is metaphor? Metaphor is an implied simile. Here, lock of hair is used as metaphor to the approaching storm. Storm. I fell upon the thorns of life. I bleed. Here, thorns of life means difficulties. Difficulties the poet face. The poet compares the young men to the west wind because he too wild, swift and proud. What does the yellow color leaf symbolize? It symbolizes Mongolid people. The winged seeds means wind-borne seeds who charioted to their dark windy bed what does the west wind chariot west wind chariots seeds thine azure sister who is referred to as the azure sister Vernal wind or the spring wind is the azure sister of west wind. Each like a corpse. Who is compared to the corpse? Seeds are compared to the corpse. Pestilence strike in multitudes. Pestilence strike in means 
टॉम एफेक्टेड विथ लिविंग ह्यू एंड ऑर्डर्स प्लेन एंड हिल वॉट फिगर्स ऑफ स्पीच इज सर्कुलेट हेयर देर इज ए पेरी फ्रेसिस ब्लैक रेन इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ हाइपेलेज ओर टू द वेस्ट वाइंड कन्भेस शेल इज जार्नी फ्रम एंगुईज टू होप द डायज ऑफ डाइंग हेयर हेयर डायज मीन्स funeral song the dirge of dying year here dying year means closing of the year of some fires mint minute minute means a fringed omen or super of bacchus and bacchus is the greek god of wine her clarion over the dreaming earth whose clarion is referred to here clarion of zephyr from which sources sell got the concept of destroyer and preserver sell got the concept from the hindu pantheon by william jones and william moore what does mean by the tangle of bow of heaven and earth it means clouds wild spirit which are moving everywhere which figures of speech is applied here there is a personification make me the air here air means a stringed musical instrument what is pumis isle pumis isle is an isle made of igneous rock here or here to whom it is addressed the poet invokes to the west wind to hear his appeal where is bay's bay bay's bay in southern italy or to the west of naples bay's bay symbolizes corrupt aristocracy the name of bay's bay has mythical association with odyssey the reference to atlantic level powers hints at the american revolution bay's bay who is bay helmsman of odysseus ship bay's bay appears in kids or to me dim verge here dim verge means dark border the og woods refers to vegetation at the bottom of the sea a heavy weight of hours means burden of age her clarion about the dreaming earth the imagery alludes to resurrection oh uncontrollable who is referred to here west wind is referred to here uncontrollable in my sure need need refers to miseries of life what does mean by dead thought dead thought means poet's subconscious mind dead thoughts are metaphorized as with hard leaves i fell upon the thorns of life i bleed which figures of speech is applied here 
there is a metaphor i fell upon the thorns of life the image appears in dante's inferno which forest did shelley recall as a metaphor of the ire of the west wind shelley recall the forest of arno trumpet of prophecy what biblical allusion is made here revelation chapter 9 which water body is said to have been lulled by the coil of his crystalline stream mediterranean sea was lulled by the coil of his crystalline stream what did mediterranean sea vision in its summer dream mediterranean sea so ancient palaces and towers in its summer dreams